Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. I am new, so if you would please subscribe, comment, like, share my videos, all the above would be awesome. I'm also an author. Uh, I've written two books in a series. Um, the links to buy those on Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing are in the description box below. Uh, trailers that I made for those uh, books are also in the description box as well as a link to um, the introduction video for this channel. Okay, so this is your reading for the week of July 15th through the 22nd. Um, this is the Celtic Cross spread. I read it differently than others so I will explain as I go. What's going on at the center of everything for you this week, Aquarius, is the um, the Princess of Cups. You'll see here that she is reversed, so she is trying to manifest. Uh, she has not quite come into reality yet, but what this energy is when she is manifested is, I mean, just look at how beautiful she is. Now, Cups is water energy. It's emotion, vessel of the soul. Um, this is flowing, a flowing energy. This is where you, uh, to me, this is a lot like the, uh, the hermit card where you, because she's described as plunging into the depths of your soul, into your emotion. And it's the exploration of your inner world. Okay. This is also intuition. Um, even fantasy. It is a youthful, flowing, emotional energy. Okay? So, it's telling me that you're trying to do that, but you're not quite flowing with your emotions this week, Aquarius. Okay, so the energies that are directly affecting the princess is the Knight of Discs. Okay, then this is always read right side up. And this is earth energy, and the earth energy is has everything to do with your wealth and with your health. He is the slowest moving knight. He is bringing you the ace of discs, okay? But it's taken him a good minute to get there, okay? But you're, you need to dive into your emotions. You need to look at what's going on with your emotions and he'll he's bringing this in okay this is the necessity of hard work and application to achieve a goal okay this could be even a reliable friend okay this is reminding you that your mind alone cannot affect change in the world you have to work at it Okay, so that's why things take a, a little bit of time. So this could even represent you. You've been working, and you know this new seed, this new beginning, which is what all aces are, is coming. You know it's coming in, but it's a bit slow going. But that's how things are on, on Earth. Things don't rush in too quickly. All right, um, so the next card that we read is, is what is at the root of everything for you this week. Aquarius, and this is a major arcana card, a divine influence, and this is the Wheel of Fortune. This energy is trying to manifest, okay? I'm being shown this is the same wheel here. I mean, this is your fortune. It's coming in. It seems like it's coming in slowly. It is not manifested just yet. You'll see. See, it's upside down, okay? Wheel of Fortune, okay? The wheel needs to turn. Okay, that's that's what I do here. I mean, this is this is upside down, and the wheel needs to turn to bring it in. Okay, so it's going a little slowly, but it will eventually turn. This is what you're thinking about your fortune. This is you're thinking about, um, yeah, your fortune in life. Okay, this is a ten as well. Tens are ending, so it's an ending of this struggle waiting for this guy to come in is what I just heard that's funny no I'm it's not funny funny but you know what I'm saying okay so the next card that we have is um fire 
This is a fire energy. This is the um, energies that are moving out of your life this week, Aquarius. The, uh, the two of wands, okay? This did not quite manifest. This could have an Aries influence. Uh, you see, this is the symbol for Mars here. Um, these are called Dorges, Tibetan Dorges, which are lightning bolts. Okay, this is like passion. One's uh, fire energy is passion. It could be that you and perhaps someone else, it could even be a partner, didn't, haven't quite yet put uh, passionate work into what you're trying to manifest here. Okay, because you see here that the, the uh, Knight of Coins is reminding you that you have to work hard to bring in, to bring in the bacon I just heard, <laughs> and, and to make your fortune come in. Okay, so this is a reminder. This energy is like on its way out, but it also could be that with all the things that's going on in the world right now, you're not able to do that. So, I totally understand. And so does the universe, okay? But this, the universe is... You've got this uh, coming. You've got a fortune coming, and it's because of the universe. This is divine. Okay? So don't give up. It might be slow going, but it's coming. Okay, so this is... Oh, I'm being reminded from some of your past, your past readings that this is... This is a second part of planning, okay? You get an idea, then you get a goal, but you have to, to make the plan in between to get there. Wow. Okay, now these two are future cards for me. This is a more immediate future, and this is a future that will occur at some point in the near future, but uh, further out than this one. And we read this one first. And this is the major arcana card for Leo. Okay? But, you know, th this is passionate as well. This is, uh, this is strength. Okay? Now, this Princess of Cups, diving deep into your emotions, is related to this. Because what this means is, do you see this woman? She has conquered the beast. Now, we all have a, a beast inside of us and see how she's tamed it. We do that by introspection, by intuition, by going inside, okay? And reining in the part of us that would have us do things that are, that, you know, the, a lion could be dangerous, okay? And if you don't tame the lion inside, it, it brings you to places it, that you don't really want to be. Okay, and I'm getting that message that the divine is telling you to be strong, to tame your lion, tame your inner lion. Okay, this could even be a Leo coming into your life. But I think that it's more like you need to tame your lion because this next card is kind of a lot like that. We have another princess. Okay. Now she is, um, she, I usually say she represents the zest for life. You know, this is endless energy, enthusiasm, courage, you know, the strength. This, this could also be an irresistible, uh, seductive, uh, through their carelessness, lust and anima. This is the drive for passion and joy of life. Irresistible. This is what the, the... Let's turn her around. She hasn't manifested yet. She's got control over her tiger. You see what I'm saying? Look at how she's she's got the tiger, or the tiger's got her by the neck, but she doesn't seem too, uh, too concerned about that because she is moving. Okay? And she's got the sun on her wand. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. She's moving through life. She's happy about it. She's got passion. She's got drive. She's got courage, okay? This is an explosive hunger or zest for life here, okay? You got to get some passion back. It's telling me that your passion 
is has you know you maybe things are just going too slowly for you you know maybe you're stuck in your emotions but you got to get your passion you got to get strong and get your passion back for life okay so the next card that we read is your hopes now this is air energy this is a mental energy and you'll see that it is upside down which means it's an energy that has not fully manifested or come into being Aquarius now um, this card is it's called science okay and what this is is this look at you're right there see that that's your symbol you've come into your own reading this way Aquarius um, this is where you go on a mental journey okay a mental journey okay uh, you're hoping to get all the answers that you need okay but you need to go on this mental journey and you got to do it with a passion okay I mean you got to light a fire under you and get whatever is going on inside your mind you need your answers okay it's called science because that's what scientists do they have a question they get their answer and they're usually left with more questions so this is a mental journey and I like to point out with this card that it all leads to the divine everybody's life is divinely led okay and if you don't get the answers that bring you through your divine blueprint the reason why you incarnated it's always divine reasons why you're here okay all your questions should lead to your divine blueprint see you've got this powerful cross and this rose in the middle to me that is the uh, the masculine and the feminine spirit itself and this mental journey this mental emotional passionate journey is going to bring in the fortune that the divine has in store for you okay so you're hoping to get all the answers make this card flip fully manifest this energy and you'll get the answers you need to bring in your divinely uh, guided fortune the next card that we read is your environment what's going on and that is the three of cups okay again this card is reversed that means it has not quite manifested this is something you want abundance you know a lot of people are having a, a problem with their abundance right now with everything that's going on in the world okay three is the number of working things work right it you know you gotta have your idea you gotta have your goal and then you gotta have your plan and then that's when things work so the divine is telling you again Aquarius I think it's been the last couple of readings that I've done is that you you've got to put some fire and get, get this plan going so that you can have the abundance okay so you've got abundance on your mind but it's not manifesting just yet and you gotta look at the cards that are reversed you know you don't you don't have the you haven't been answering the questions maybe you you haven't gotten that zest for life that explosive power that that creates a plan okay and so if you can make these cards flip you can make this one flip too abundance is the same as this this reversed fortune card abundance is fortune it's it's all the good things in life that you're looking for plus cups are emotion love okay so your your fortune has to do with your earthly wealth but also with your love in your life and these two princesses are right next to each other too yeah there's a lot of feminine energy going on here the the two princesses and this this woman on her on her lion the two which is binary code male and female the plan they've got your your masculine is your power okay see that that's also that's I'm sorry that's the symbol for male you know and the it's the uh, the circle and the cross below it which is the symbol for female 
Okay, so your fear, this is your fear card. Okay? Now, this can be a toxic relationship. Okay? Now, this could be a passionate relationship as well. This could be a hot and heavy relationship. And because you have the lust card here, I, I'm feeling that there's something connected to that. Maybe you're wonder you maybe you're afraid that your relationship is. What am I trying to say here? You could be afraid of this flipping and being in a toxic relationship. Maybe a, a relationship that is too passionate or only based in lust. Okay, or it, it it could just be a Capricorn in your life that you don't want to manifest into your life. Okay. Now, I'm being reminded that this card is a wedding, some sort of celebration that has to do with love. It's not happened yet. And I remember, Aquarius, a few readings back that that's what you were planning or trying to plan is some wonderful type of get-together like a wedding or an anniversary, a baby shower, and, and the, uh, the whole thing beneath it was conception. So I just feel like there's somebody who wants to get married and have children and, and it's not happening. And you know what? It could be because of everything going on in the world. Okay, I mean, you know how this applies to yourself. I, mean, I don't want it to sound like I'm, I don't know, scolding you or something. I'm, I'm totally not. All right, so uh, your final outcome right now is, yeah, oh my, okay. So again, we have the masculine or, or Mars or Scorp Scorpio symbol here. Five is the number where things aren't as stable as you want them to be. Okay, now this card is right side up. And it means disappointment because usually in, in, in other decks, it's, there's a person sitting there and three of their cups have spilled over and they're really sad about it. Okay, but they don't see the two cups that are behind them. And the two of cups is love. The Two of Cups is one of the best cards in the Minor Arcana. It's like getting the lovers in the Major Arcana. Okay? So this is, they typically call this crying over spilled milk. Okay? And there's no use crying over spilled milk. There, you're, you're going to be disappointed about something and it's going to bum you out, okay? But don't stay in that energy for too long because that doesn't really help at all. It, you know what you got to do is you got to see what you got which is awesome. What you have left is really awesome. So try not to stay in this energy. How much control do you have over this? You have that's determined by the amount of major arcana cards and you have 1 2 3. So 3 out of 10 cards means you are mostly in control with this Aquarius. And the underlying energy is peace. The 2 of swords. It can be harmony. It could be um a crossroads, a choice, one of two choices, and it's going to be mental. Okay, this is this is something you're going to have to think about. Okay, I've gone a bit long on this Aquarius. I hope uh, to see you next week. Uh, see you next time.